Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. Back with Morgan Kennington, realtor from Fresno, part of the amazing team with Jason Pritchard, who's our Sunday expert. How you doing, Morgan? I'm good. How are you, Zuber? I'm doing very well. So we got to meet Natalie in episode number one, where Natalie was a first-time okay. home buyer. Your sister, awesome. Congratulations. I'm just making this up as I go. <laughs> now we're going to flip the script, and Natalie's going to be a home owner. And she's going to be one of those people that have been seeing all the negative headlines. Maybe she even experienced or has friends that experienced the great housing crash of Fresno, where it went down 75% last time. Been through that, been there, seen that. So she's going to come to you and she's going to say, Morgan, I want to list my home. I want to become a renter because I'm going to time the market and I'm going to save all of this money. And um, yeah, that's what I want to do. List my home. Let's go. What, what, how would that conversation go? What, what would you do to kind of at least give her some pause? Yeah, I think, well, I would say. Here's a listing agreement. Let's go. No, (laughs) I know. Uh, Right. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. 6%, right? Yeah. (laughs) I would say, gosh, okay, Natalie, let's take a step back. Yeah. Truly think about what you're saying here. Really look at the market. Don't just look at all the negative things that people are saying and, you know, Mm -hmm. um, don't let it scare you. Really think about it from a logical standpoint. And I think I would say, do you want, honestly, my first thought is just to say, why would you want to rent and pay down someone else's mortgage when you could pay down your own, you know, build up equity and, and build up, you know, I think that's, that's where I would start. And I think that, you know, I would just, I would remind her that there are still opportunities, like there are still opportunities to sell at mm-hmm. a price you want to sell out there are still opportunities to buy at a price that makes sense for you. Mm-hmm. Um, so don't go down the rabbit hole of thinking that you're going to move in with mom. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Do you really want to go back to your, your bedroom? As a yeah. Kid? And then like get complacent. And then what if the market like gets worse and it's actually, you look back and realize, Oh gosh, it really wasn't this bad right now. And it gets worse. And then you're stuck. And then, you know, I would, I would, I would, I would go from there and just, and absolutely tell her to think. think yeah. Twice. yeah. If my sister Anne came to me with that scenario, it would be like, be like, like, okay, here we go again. Yeah. Uh, because it's not like I have this conversation almost every day. Right. But um, I guess the first thing I would probably do uh, with Anne or Natalie in this case is tell me about your financial situation, because maybe you're in a situation where the only thing you ha- like, you've depleted your savings, you were, you were, you were a stimulus baller and you increased your life cycle. You got a third car, you got all this yeah. other stupid stuff. And oh, by the way, you or your husband uh, have a risky job. Maybe you're a pest pest selling pest stuff like one of your clients in video one yeah. it's very up and down yeah. right are, are you looking at this situation natalie or Anne? like this is this is your last piggy bank and that's all you have left you know that's that's maybe one right. discussion right yeah totally right uh let's let's pretend that's not the scenario in this case because if it is maybe the right answer is to sell right if that's yeah. all you have left and you're sitting on six figures and even if you sold at a discount you end up with 50 grand that's better than zero right so that's correct so if we table that one, I guess the first thing I would ask Natalie or Ann is tell me about your mortgage. And let's just pretend, you know, yep. Natalie goes, oh, it's a great mortgage. It's 2.8%, you know, fixed for 30 years. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, hmm, 2.8, <laughs> really? <laughs> so the payment on that is 1800 or whatever it is. Right, yeah. And you're going to rent. So A, you can live with mom, but oh, by the way, mom's going to charge you rent or, you know, whatever, but it'll be right, cheap. Yeah. But you got to, you really want to live in your bedroom? Really? It's yeah, kind of exactly. crazy. Or you're going to rent somewhere else. And oh, by the way, have you checked the rental market? Rents are skyrocketing because there's nothing available. So you're probably, you're prob- Natalie, you're probably going to spend 2000 to 2500 on exactly. rent for an equivalent or even a trade down. So let's, let's at least do the math correctly, right? If yeah. you're going to dump a payment of 18, but add a payment of 22, are you really getting ahead, Natalie? And then, oh, by the way, I would break out the old mortgage calculator and I would do, I would say, okay, Natalie, let's pretend you time the market perfectly. You sell it X, you buy it 10% less, but, but your rate goes from 2.8 Natalie to Mm 6.1. Let me introduce you to your new mortgage payment at a cheaper home. It's now 2,700. Did you really win Natalie? That. I, what I would want Natalie or my sister Ann to realize is a 30 year mortgage sub three is an asset in most homeowners don't get that right. It's, it's right. a mortgage yeah. payment. It's an expense. 
No, 30 year money sub three. You it's negative rates. We've got 9% inflation. You've got debt at 3%. That's a negative 6%. That's unheard of. Why would you give that up, Natalie or Ann? That's that's kind of where I would try to walk them through. Yeah, absolutely. No, that's a really good point. And I feel like if you explained it to them that way, the way you just did to me, I feel like they would be able to wrap their heads around, okay, I really would be losing money. And yeah, you would. I mean, I absolutely, absolutely would. And yeah. it's hard to time the market, especially when you don't, you don't know what's going to happen. And, you know, no one does. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'd absolutely, I, I would give them the, the advice that you just explained for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because again, again, I, I let's be clear, right? You you live in and work in a market that I've, I've invested in for 20 some odd years and it did yeah. go down 75%. And let's be clear, I, Morgan, I would love it to do that again. I would love yeah. Fresno to crash 75%. Yeah. I'll take 50%. I won't even be greedy. I, yeah, let's just do 50. Yeah. Um, but that's certainly not, that's not my base case or, or even worst case at this point. It's, yeah. it's, it's I mean, could it happen? Sure. But it, it, that's not the market we're in. We're in for a market of slower transactions yes, exactly. and the like. So um, what, el- what else do you think Natalie would want to hear from her, uh, her sister on this? Um, I think, you know, it's interesting. Uh, my sister, cause I'm really trying to put myself in like her shoes. Mm-hmm. She's never bought a home. Okay. She's much older than me. She's never bought a home. She's lived in New York city for ah. a few years and she's, you know, she's rented apartments that are as big as, you yeah. know, my walk, bed- your walk-in closet. Yeah. <laughs> a month. Yeah, exactly. So gosh, I would, I would absolutely, especially cause I don't think she has a, enough experience in this area. I would absolutely tie it back to her financial situation. Right. Like we were talking about in the beginning, like seriously, like Natalie, what, what do you see yourself being able to afford mm-hmm. long-term and mm-hmm. what do you have in savings? Do you have anything in savings? Yeah. Cause I know you've lived in New York city and you yeah. probably have spent a lot of your savings just by living there, you know? Yeah. So I really got to look at their situation mm-hmm. where they've lived before, how they view, how they mentally view their finances yeah. and you know what, what's important to them and, uh, and how savvy they are yeah. with money. Yeah. It, and that's going to be topic number three is kind of financial stress. I think a lot of folks are, are going yeah. to be, go, they're going through it now, but I unfortunately think it gets worse before it gets better for lots of folks. So, uh, but before we do that, if there, if you, if there's somebody wants to buy in Fresno or reach out to you and get some coaching uh, mindset stuff, you help a lot of people with it. And, and uh, that is amazing. How do you want them to reach out or follow you? Uh, they can reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook. It's Morgan Kennington realtor. Awesome. Thanks Morgan. Thank you. Mm-hmm.